The bill was drafted based on concerns over the neglect of agricultural extension services in the country. It has been established that Nigeria is among the countries with the lowest population of agricultural extension workers. Salama Tugaraba, who championed the documentation of the draft bill, said that if passed into law, all the challenges associated with the farmer's output will be addressed. She presented the draft bill to the chairman of the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Produce and Rural Development, Saliu Mustafa. Backed up by the Federal Department of Agriculture Extension, we are backed up by Ministry of Justice. We are backed up by all the legal bodies and all the departments that are supposed to be part of this journey. So we see it as a business that is completed by the grace of God. Senator Saliu Mustafa assures stakeholders in the agricultural sector of the speedy passage of the Agricultural Extension Revitalization Bill into law. He said that his team would quickly look at the bill, make necessary adjustments, and proceed with the reading on the floor of the Senate, subsequent passage, and presidential assent. Some of my team members, I don't think we will have anything again to waste time on. So it will just be for us to see how we can quickly move into action in making sure that the bill is being taken to the floor yeah. and to now see how <laughs> and to now see how we will get the president to assent to it. Between the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. Director of the Field Extension Services of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, Oluomi Ayodele, said expectations of the ministry, particularly the Department of Agriculture Extension, is that the agricultural extension delivery system in Nigeria will be strengthened.